Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to my channel. And today we will be checking it out, something I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. So let's get started. Now, before I begin, I do want to announce that everything I talk about in this video, you can actually get on my Patreon. And the reality of it is, the more you guys join my Patreon, the more motivated I get to finishing this project up. So yeah, that's that's the reality of it. Now, what we're talking about today is getting Wine working on our Raspberry Pi. Now, Wine allows you to run Windows programs like EXE programs and stuff like that. So that's one of my bigger projects that I've been working on for actually quite some time now. And I've moved on to a new type of image. So how I was releasing it before, I was releasing it as a full image on my Patreon. But now I actually turned it into an installer so you could actually install it into any image that you want and it'll still work. So that's the big progress that I've been making from what I was doing before till now. Now, if you guys want to do it yourself, you can. I actually followed my own tutorial, which is on my website and I'll leave a link down in the description, as well as a video tutorial on me doing this before. Now I just streamlined it and updated it to the point where I'm using a different version of Linux. I'm using a different version of Wine. So it works a little bit better. So if you follow along with my website and change the versions instead of using uh, Debian Stretch and you change it over to Debian Buster or changing it from Wine 3.9 to what I'm using, Wine 5.9, you're gonna get better results. And if you guys are a little bit lazy and you just wanna be able to use the image, you could always get it from my Patreon. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I got going on over here. And to install, it's actually not too hard. You download the file and extract it to one location. In there, you just run the installer script and that's it. It will do everything on its own. Get all the mounted partition that it needs, move everything to a folders, and also make desktop icons that you could use to access your wine environment. Once you're done with everything, again, you're going to have these two desktop icons. Now, this might look like a little weird, but I accidentally got rid of the icon up here and I changed the wallpaper, but that doesn't matter. By double clicking on the Wine x86 user, you'll be dropped into an environment where you can actually use Wine. So if I type in Wine config, you're actually going to be able to see that it will load. And I am using 5.9. As far as the core counts, it still uses one core, but it actually separates a lot of the processes. So you could see it actually goes up a little on uh, other things as well. So it is a little bit faster than what it originally is if you're going to emulate it. Now here's wine loaded. I have 5.9. And if I want to test some programs that I have in here, like say putty, that's an easy program to load, but it does load in your Raspberry Pi using this wine setup that I got going on. And again, you can see how the CPU process is. It's going up and down and it's past the one core count. So it's not too bad. It runs really smooth. I am running this on a Raspberry Pi 4 with the four gigs of RAM model. So yeah, I'm gonna close out of this. And if I wanted to test another application, say uh, I have Notepad++, so I would do Wine, Notepad++, that would load as well. Again, I, I'm just testing out light applications because this is the first beta release that I have out and it is based on Ubuntu 1804. And if you're on my Patreon, I will actually be releasing more versions. I will have uh, Debian Buster, uh, Ubuntu 20. Um, I'm gonna have those versions coming out first, but this was my original base that I was playing around with. So yeah, it, it, everything is coming. I just recently got sound fixed, so I am working on little patches, little fixes here and there. And if you guys have any applications that you guys want me to test on this environment, um, let me know down in the comments below. So yeah, this isn't a, too much of a big update on this. I just want to let you guys know that it is out there. And if you guys do want to play around with it, again, it's on my Patreon. And that so far, I have been working on it, trying to fix out some bugs. I am going to be working on my own version of QEMU just to speed up the things. But... I am one person and I also have to be motivated to do it. So again, the more people who join my Patreon to test this out and want to support me, please do. And as that grows, I, I know I'm going to get more motivated to do more things much quickly. But as for now, it is out there. And if you guys want to try it, you know where to get it. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as the same my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.